So, you may wonder why they call them all-terrain vehicles and dirt bikes. We are back with Most Wanted Monday. Lieutenant Tim Robinson, Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Is there a problem with bringing ATVs and dirt bikes onto city streets? Oh, there's a major issue. The first thing I want to tell you is just because it says all-terrain, that all-terrain does not include public roadways. And we have we have repeated issues with individuals that like to drive ride ATVs and dirt bikes. They've been known to create quite a disturbance. Matter of fact, even uh, several days ago, there was a fairly serious accident involving one of these off-road vehicles in a private mm. car in Salisbury, and they they create a hazard that does not need to be. Yeah. There. All right. So you brought us a list of fugitives that you're looking for. Let's take a look at your first one, Richard Scott Baldwin. Richard Baldwin, he's 40 years old. We have an address for him in Berlin, Maryland, for any reviewers in Worcester County. And he's wanted by the sheriff's office on a circuit court bench warrant that was issued back in December when he did not make an appearance in the circuit court to answer theft charges. So if anybody knows who Richard Baldwin is, all they have to do is pick up the phone and call Crime Solvers, and they'll get us that information. You've mentioned to us before, when we see a repeat, that means you're getting close to get them. So uh, tell us about Shalonda Wynette Batson. Well, I hope we're getting close to getting her. The reason we keep profiling her is because we keep getting tips on her. So that's why we keep putting her, names, her name out there. She's 42 years old. We have an address for her in Parsonsburg. And she's wanted by the sheriff's office on a circuit court bench warrant that's issued when she also uh, did not make an appearance to answer the charges of theft in the circuit court. So... Just like uh, the previous individual, the judge has taken steps to try to encourage her next appearance in court. So by that was done by issuing a warrant for her arrest. This is Stacy Dale Bosman. She's 36 years old. We have an address for her in Princess Anne. We also have an address for her in Millsboro, Delaware. And if she's found at that Delaware address, or if anybody knows that she's in Delaware, don't hesitate to call because it's a very simple process to bring somebody back from that state. She's wanted by the sheriff's office on a circuit court bench warrant that was issued just last month when she violated the terms for a pretrial condition in a case where she'd been charged with CDS possession, um, maintaining the equipment to make CDS, and reckless endangerment. We also have an arrest warrant that dates back a couple years uh, earlier than that for CDS possession and reckless endangerment and obstructing and hindering and providing a false uh, identification. All right, see if you recognize John Franklin Jr. John Franklin Jr. is 35 years old. We last know him to have an address right here in Salisbury, and he's wanted by the sheriff's office on a district court bench warrant that was issued last spring for failure to appear and the charges of trespassing. Uh, we also have a circuit court bench warrant that was also issued last spring on the charges of violation of probation in a case where he'd already been convicted in CDS distribution. This is Justin Nigel Gosley. Justin Gosley, he's 28 years old. We last know him to have an address here in Salisbury, and we've been looking for him for a couple years. Uh, we have a warrant that was issued in connection with an escape case because he did not um, show up to, be, to serve a sentence at the detention center. So if anybody knows where Justin Gosley is, please just pick up the phone all crime solvers so we can get this matter all taken care of. And finally, James William Headstream III. James Headstream III, he's 27 years of age. We know that he used to have ties in Salisbury, and we don't have any reason to believe that he's left, but we do know he originally was from out of state. We believe it's somewhere in the Midwest. If anybody has any information where he is, he was actually sentenced to the Wicomico County Detention Center to, to serve a sentence uh, for a theft conviction, and he never showed up. So we've had, for the last couple of years, a warrant for his arrest for failing to show up to serve a sentence. And again, just like uh, the previous individual, if you don't show up to serve a sentence, you're technically considered an escapee, and there's going to be a warrant for escape for you in addition to whatever other ramifications from that case you have to deal with. We'll, we'll take tips any way we can get them if it gets people brought in. But if you want to get considered for the money that Crime Solvers is putting out, then you just have to call the number. It's 410-548-1776. 
an operator who will be very helpful will take our information. That number is answered 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and then they get us that information. They don't use caller ID. They don't have any mechanism to trace the phone call. We can't even get back in touch with the callers. So please do not hesitate to call. It's going to, it's going to be totally anonymous. All righty. Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the Lycomico County Sheriff's Office, thank you for everything you do. Thank you, Jimmy. It's great to be here.